Hey, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. Uh, I really appreciate you stopping by. And if this is the first video you've watched, you might want to check out the past few videos I've made through the month of August. And what I'm about to teach today will make a lot more sense. But it does serve a purpose as is. So over the past few weeks, I've gotten uh, comments from different people about you know, how can I better stack the coins in edge grip or down palm or how how easily how can i do it more easily how can i do it more quickly so today i want to share with you some just general tips advice and like a, a simple exercise you can do to really focus on edge grip get coins stacked in edge grip because down the line you will do things with stacks of coins as opposed to just one coin so you, you've got to get comfortable with edge grip and, and kind of get those muscles strong that you never use. So I'm going to hone in on this one move, even though I've covered it a little bit through different videos. We're going to look really closely today at first getting one coin into edge grip or down palm and then being able to stack coins below that silently. So the initial placement of the coins into down palm you usually see someone with a fan of coins like this. They place a coin there. It maybe disappears or it maybe hangs in the air. So this is the action for placing one coin into edge grip. So I've talked about this move before, the snap back vanish. Now that vanish from Al Schneider, it just stayed here just stayed in this position. So if you look from above, the coin's going from upright or vertical to horizontal. And all that's covering it is the index finger. So it hangs out in this spot until it's reproduced somewhere else. So it just takes a little cover. That coin is snapped back. This is the, the essence of uh, kind of modern day, I'll call it, modern day edge grip and down palm stuff. You can begin, this is exercise one, we'll say. Uh, start in the mirror with this and just see how quickly and smoothly you can do this. It's a little bit of the coin pivoting like that. And it's a little bit of the middle finger reaching. So if I move my middle finger, that coin will, the weight of it will fall. Now that's due to my light grip and silver dollars are pretty heavy. So that's how that's allowing that to happen. From this point, I'm barely reaching with my middle finger and then just turning the coin. And then it, it rests here. It's completely out of sight. Your angles are very good just in this resting position. So you can begin with this exercise just practicing this. So that's exercise number one, just this little snap back move. Do that over and over. Soon you'll get so good, it just requires almost no cover. And now what I'll call exercise two, you're gonna go from that position and then tuck it in. So you're here, snap back. Now you're just gonna tuck it in and let go. So you can reset by pinching the coin like this, popping it up with your thumb. And again, that's snap back, pull it in, grip, let go. And you can just do this one Try going as fast as you can and as smoothly as you can. Just bring it, bring it into position and then reset. Maybe turn the coin, you know, get your fingers, get your fingers very nimble and loose. Let the coin be loose. Pull it in, grip it, let it go. Bring it out, snap back, pull it in, let it go. Snap back, pull it in, let it go. 
reset, snap back, grip it, let it go, reset. So this is exercise number two, we'll call it. You're snapping back, gripping, letting go, then pull it out, reset it. All you have to do from this point is give the cover like you would a retention of vision vanish. So you're just gonna do the snap back into the left palm as the left fingers close. And now what helps the, the re-grip here is the natural misdirection of placing the coin in this hand. You're gonna look at this hand while you uh, grip the coin over here because it's almost too much movement to do that right away off the vanish. You wanna leave it in the snapback position. Then on the next beat, just clench your fists and re-grip and you can let go. So all together, it would look like this. And I, I've got that coin re-gripped and it's, I can go on to the next, whatever the next movement will be. Maybe I'm grabbing another coin before revealing the vanish of the first coin. So again, up close, we're placing that in the palm, doing the snap back as we close. Even this just looks fantastic as a vanish. So you can go back to exercise number one and just do that much by adding the left hand in. So you were practicing the movement, but then we add the left hand in and it really looks good. Now just add the, the re-grip as you bring this hand up to your mouth or up to the air. We're going to be in resting position now clenching as this hand moves at the same time. So we'll do exercise three, I'll call it. Begin with three coins on the table, on your lap, wherever you're practicing. Now pick one coin up, do the whole sequence. But as we clench, this time we're going to go for the next coin. So you're here. Clench. Pick up the next coin. Use it to uh, affect the vanish. Now you're going to repeat it with the second coin, the coin you used as a magic wand. So you snap back. Now this is the point where we're going to just add it right under the first coin, silently. I guess at this point when it's on my thumb, it, it's beginning to contact just in that spot. And then from there, it's pulled back and quietly aligned, I guess. So you're there. there. Now we add a third coin. Snap back, slide, and regrip. So here's exercise three from above. You can see coin number one, we do the snap back. And then as we regrip, we're reaching for this coin to use as a wand. We show the first coin has vanished. Now we're going to repeat with the second coin, snap back. As we reach for this coin, this coin's sliding under. So it, it hides the movement in the hand as we reach here. In effect, this is causing the vanish to happen. So ideally, I'd have one more object here, like, like a playing card. So on this last coin, I, I can reach for the card and then use that as, as an excuse to pull the coin. In. So that's a really kind of fun sequence to practice. Grab a card or a pen. So you have that, that last object as you grab each coin and have them vanish like that. You have something for the last coin to go get before you vanish that one. Let's look at this in, in a slightly different way. What if we don't use the other coins to wave, 
but we just focus on breaking the move into two main parts. So the snap back and resting position. What if we just stayed there before we re-gripped? Allowed the vanish to happen up here. Then at this moment, re-grip and get the next coin. Repeat the actions. Now I'm just staying in the rest position. I vanish the coin up here. Now, when attention is here, now I, I re-grip and I'm on the move. So you don't have to think about doing this move all in one, one movement. So snap back, pull in and then re-grip as you reach. You can sit in this resting position for another 30 seconds before you then re-grip it and get the, the main point is there has to be the next movement you're going to. So even if you're in down's palm, you can't stay in down's palm with nothing in your hand. And that's the same for edge grip. So you can think about when you do movements, what's happening after the movement, and if you can break it up into smaller chunks. Now, of course, the other way to do this off the table and in the hands is right here like you see most routines done. So from here, we're, we're holding the whole spread of coins as we take one off. We're repeating the same actions. If you've never done this, it feels awkward. And uh, I'm gonna make a video about this, this particular movement uh, coming up because it makes no sense. <laughs> if I wanted to start vanishing these coins, I could, I could take one off and vanish it over here in this hand. Why am I taking the coin off, putting it in this hand, taking the coins out of this hand? You know, the other, the other way is I, I take two coins away. I leave one coin because I'm, a, I'm about to vanish it. But anyway, as an exercise, we'll call this exercise 3B. You're gonna hold all the coins in your hand, take one, do the snapback technique. Regrip as you reach for these coins. And then you can show that coins vanish. You can separate these. And then you're gonna go for the second coin. Snapback vanish. Regrip. Kind of open, open your thumb and then reach. Number three, number two, then number three, you kind of need something to, to hold on to because this, this position is, is awkward, but as an exercise, it's okay. And one of the most important things to remember with, with all these little tips and ideas, keep that coin parallel to the floor, wherever you're moving. If you're working off the table or if you're working just in your hands, Keep these coins parallel to the floor and you can almost guarantee your angles will be good. As long as don't try to tip away from the spectator, you're going to flash in another area. Just keep it right there level with the ground. As you go through these movements, just always keep that in mind. All right, so that's it for this week, guys. I really appreciate you stopping by and I hope this video provided a lot more clarity for, for those of you wanting to get this move down better and stacking coins into that grip. Uh, this is the basis for a, a whole lot of coin magic uh, that I, I will probably be discussing at some point. You can, you can take these stacks of coins, move them around, and do all kinds of cool stuff. So this is the basis of a lot of modern coin magic. So it's important that you, you learn it, but have fun and play with it. And you'll see progress fast, especially if you're recording yourself and then evaluating it. So that's it for this week. And uh, I think next week I'll talk about this move I just mentioned and why it's illogical, but how you can fix it, all right? So see you next time.